Today's date is uh, November 27, 2010. The time is uh, 2200 hours. Um, I know we've been talking for a little while. Um, when we started talking, uh, read you your rights. Um, you said you understood all your rights. Right. Um, you told me you have two years of college. Yeah. Um, you said you're not under the influence of any alcohol right now. Right. Um, you are under the influence of prescription medications right. that you take because of your injuries. Right. That you sustained while uh, during a robbery and a shooting. That you were a victim right. of that. Right. Okay. Um, on the bottom, as I'm showing you this form, um, right here where it says subject, that is your signature. Yes. yes. And I sign underneath. And Detective Tran signed right. and saw, um, as a witnesses that this happened. Do you have any questions about your rights? No. No. Okay. And uh, you understand that what we hear is uh, in reference to I know what happened um, during your case, and I told you that. And then I also I want to talk to you about um, an incident that happened on Thanksgiving morning. Okay. Um, that happened right here in Ruskin. Um, let me ask you this. Did I give you? I think, can I take a picture of you? No. You don't want a picture? No. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to ask you. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, first of all, can you tell me about what happened with your case? Um, oh, no. I, I never heard of that. The, the guy retired. Or no, from the beginning, as far as what happened to you. Oh, um, I, I just... Uh, I, 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 let me tell you, like I told you real quick. I told you I met you tonight. Right. Uh, from this point on, Right. We're now going to take over that investigation. Okay. Do right. you understand that? Okay. What happened in the past, we don't know. We weren't involved right. in it. Right. From now on, that's right. going to be our investigation. Right. Yeah, um, I was running my truck, and uh, this car came up behind me, and they beat the horn, and it just got dark, and this girl came up to the window, and, um, you know, she was, you know, like, talking to me, like, what do you have to drink, blah, blah, blah. I kept kind of distracting me and stuff, and, and the next thing I know, these two guys come up, and, uh, well, one, she stepped back, I turned around, I stepped back, and then I had a gun on my face, and then another guy came in, got into the truck, and, um, they just kind of, like, stood there, and I was like, look, dude, I, you know, I, take whatever you want, you know, I don't care, and he goes, all right, and I said, here's some money that I have, because I just filled up, and I had some, you know, money in my shirt, well, I said, here you go, just take it, you know, and, um, and then, uh, um, he goes, come here, and he grabbed me, and he turned me around, and when I did like this, he was going to shoot me in the back of the head. And um, so I pulled back away from him, and I went to the back of the truck, and I said, look, we don't have to do this. I said, because you guys are wearing masks, I don't even know who you are. You know, I said, and for a few bucks, I said, I really don't care. I was like, just go, you know. And did they was, take your money? Yeah, yeah, they took my money, but they didn't really act like they cared about it, you know. How and much uh, money did they take? It's like 12 bucks. 12 bucks? 12 bucks, yeah. Okay. And, um... Like my cash box was right behind me. They didn't even, you know, and they just kind of looked at each other and just said, yeah, and they just started shooting me. How many times you got five, shot? Five. Five times. Five. They shot till they ran out of bullets. Let me ask you this about the female that walked up. Uh -huh. Can you describe her for me? She was probably about 18, 19. She was young. At first, I thought maybe she was like a light-skinned black girl. Um, she could be Puerto Rican, um, and she, uh, she was a little heavy set. on this testimony but you will not miss a moment of this interview we will resume when we get back court tv live continues at the top of the hour Welcome back to Court TV Live. I'm Seema Iyer in our New York City studios. We are going to pick up where we left off in Florida versus Michael Keatley. This is the defendant speaking to the cops back on November 27, 2010. Let's listen in. Very lighter, she's more crane colored. Okay. And, um, and that's, but that's really it. I mean, so I, I, mean, I kind of assumed that the guys are, were black just because she looked black. You know, well, and I, I know that I don't know. Based on the report, when I read the report, I noticed that you told the officers that they were black. Black, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm just going by. Like, I, I just kind of assumed because they, they looked real dark around, you know, like. But there wasn't much you could see. Right, they were wearing something. They were wearing like a ski mask, and okay. you couldn't really tell. I mean, I, like I said, I just kind of assumed they were black because she looked black to me, you know. So. Okay. But yeah. 
So then what happened after that? Um, that was it. I went to hospital. And um, we looked at on the news. There was like $5,000 reward. And um, nobody, nobody ever came up. No. They, um, like I said, the, um, I guess a few people must have called or something. You know, the detective said that they couldn't get no leads. Nothing went really. Let me ask you this. I know earlier when we were talking, I was asking you about your parents. You may mention that uh, that they brought you. They brought. Let's see uh, if we can get it back where it was. Detective Nolan, that maybe 
could be possible that some Hispanic males were involved instead of black. Yeah, he asked me, and I just said I don't know. Right. You know, I just don't know. So was was it ever your uh, your perception or idea that maybe it was Hispanic males? Because no. I know when you mentioned that you said that the female was black. So yeah. Are you telling that? And I just said, yeah yeah. So I mean I I'm pretty sure. I mean he looked he looked black to me. I mean the guy looked black to me. Okay. You know. Um, like I said, I mean I kind of like saw like around his eyes and and, and I, I I'm pretty sure he was black. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was black. Okay, because so I know earlier you said that your perception was that she was black. That it was right, like so right, black. right, right, yeah. Yeah, and, and well, like I said, cause just from what I could see through the mask, right. I just, they look black to me, okay. you know, so. I know to today you believe that the people yeah, were black. Yeah, I think so. Or yeah. You were black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because nobody knows who this girl is. We all asked around and stuff, but nobody, you know, is to like fit that description or anything like that, so. Nah, and you know, they said that they probably came from like Palmetto, okay. and because they come up here and they do these crimes and then they go back to Palmetto, so uh, Detective Nolan. Detective Nolan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really about it. So like I said, that, that, I mean, it just it's a dead end, man. That was it. Right. It didn't go anywhere. And um, in reference to this incident Thursday, you telling me that you went home about 12:30 and yeah, I was home at 12:30, and then after that you didn't go anywhere. No. And um, you didn't go anywhere in your uh, mom and dad's van. No. Is that the only vehicle that you have right now to drive around? Yeah. Um, yeah, they just bought a new truck. They bought a new truck? They bought a new truck. It's, it's, um, it's like a big crew cab. Okay. And then I know that when when the incident happened down south, you were driving your ice cream truck. Right. What color is that? That's purple. Purple. Do you still own that? Yeah. Do you drive it? No. Why not? Drive it. What am I gonna drive it to? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no. Do you know? Do you own any other vehicles? And um, my, uh, I turned in the plate on my Jag. I mean, on my Jag, my, uh, my Infinity. Um, you have an Infinity. Yeah. What year? Yeah, that's a '94. Um, that I actually I sold it to a neighbor down the road because it ain't ran in like six years. What? And um, they couldn't get it running either, so. Uh, it was just sit down there. I, I, I never even transferred the paddle. I just turned the plate in there. Um, that would be a bad purchase. You work on vehicles, you were an airplane mechanic. <laughs> and if you can get it started, what would I have that from you? No, man, I know. It is. It's sometimes, I don't know, I just get on these projects. And, uh, so, yeah. And be like, hey, you want to buy this? Like, no. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, that is. Um, so, the only vehicle you drive around right now is uh, the man. And just a couple of times, so I'm not, I'm not very good at it right now. Right. Driving, yeah, I just feel not very good. So, so kind of practicing. We're gonna get on the steering wheel balls, mm -hmm. even the knobs to put on the wheel, mm -hmm. so it make, make it makes it easier. easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
go over there and shoot up the rest of the I know, I know. He was just like, oh, man. Like, and, uh, you know, I told him, too. I was like, you know, I said, I, I, I wish, though. So, you know what? I mean, like, I, I just found prayer every night that God would just freaking find them people and just do justice, man. You know, and, and like I said, they, they may, he may have already had. I mean, these people might already, you know, went and robbed the convenience store, got shot by a clerk or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just don't know. Or they won't be in prison. You know, they could be in prison. You know, you just don't know. Right. So, like I said, man, I, and I, I can't live a whole life grudging, you know what I'm saying, to keep right. going because it, it's no good. I mean, I, I was angry for a while, you know, and I was just mad and I couldn't do anything, you know. And like I said, my buddy Tommy, he always tell me, he said, Mike, just, just, you know, relax, man. And I, you know, I get so frustrated because I couldn't do my physical therapy. I couldn't lift my, lift my weights. And, and he was always just telling me, Mike, just relax. And I don't worry about it. Just kind of turn it over. Just look at it. Did you ever mention the name Creeper to Tom? No. I, no, I, I, I don't know that name, Creeper. I don't know that name. That no, name never came up on me. No. You're all the investigation. No. 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 It's, it's um, like I said, the only person we heard was a Jesse and a kid named Bubba. Yeah, so, um, that's really bad. Let me ask you this. I know that uh, when uh, the detectives stopped you and talked to you, you told them there was a, I believe, you told them there was a firearm in the back. Right. And you said that your dad left it there. Right. What kind of firearm? It's a 380. It's a 380. And that is your dad's? Yes. What type of uh, 380 is it? You know the brand? I don't know, man. It's, um, uh, it's, like, uh, it's not very expensive, I don't think. It was like a, a century or something. I don't know. I don't know so much about it. Do you own any other farms? Um, uh, like a 22. Do you own a 22? Um, I don't own it. No, 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 no. My dad has an old, old rifle that my pop had. I have a 22 Magnum. Okay. And, um, 22 Magnum? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then, it's one. It was an old rifle. It was a twenty-two that um, Pop has all rusted out, and the um, and the so shot was just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two twenty-two rifles. rifles. Yeah. And um, you know, when Papa died, it was just some old guns. You know, like a, a shotgun or something. You know, I mean, not. Uh, and those are the house. So, and uh, I, I believe they, they might be. You know, they very well could be. What type of shotgun? You know. Um, no, 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 well, I guess you know the shotgun too, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm looking at that, I'm just asking to see if you got any fun, but neither yeah. one of these is yours, is no, 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 they, they were, were my papa's, like, yeah. years and years ago, okay, yeah. um, and do you own any farms, and, um, uh, yep, yep, I got a, um, I got a, uh, Glock, and, uh, but it's too heavy, it's too big, it's gone. You want to call it a lot? It's a, uh, it's a black 21, and it's a, uh, a 9 millimeter. And the 21 is a 45 to 45, yes sir. And you guys can take ballistics on it if you want, I'll bring it to you. Um, and then you got, you said a 9 millimeter? Yeah, is that a block also? No, it's like a high point or something like that. And, but they're, they're just big, heavy guns, you can't do nothing, I can't do nothing with them. Because, yeah, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Okay, any other farms that you own? No, I think that's it. Are those going to sit down? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. yeah. And my dad carries a, um, a, um, he, he's got a registered, um, Taurus 45. A Taurus. <laughs> that's registered, yeah. How long have you owned your guns? Um, uh, been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Any other farms in that? Not that I'm aware of. Anybody else lives there with you guys? No. Just, just, yeah. Yeah. And how long ago um, did you move from the front to the back? Like a shot. 
in the shop when the incident happened and you moved to the back. Um, what did you use that from property for now? No. Nothing? Is anybody living there? No, no we're going to run it out. You're going to run it out? Do you saw some belongings in there? Not much. It is. Just garbage going on? Yeah, pretty much just garbage. Stuff trying to throw away or? Yeah, pretty much. Got to quit. We changed the toilet out.